Hey y'all, welcome back. I was gonna make a video tonight using ArtRage Mobile, and usually I paint ArtRage on the desktop, but I thought the mobile app would be really fun to play with. Two things about that. Um, the mobile is getting a really good set of updates that I can give you a small preview of today. And then the second thing is, I was at the ArtRage website just actually on accident because I almost have no reason to go there since I have all the upgrades, but um, stumbling upon it was really good because it's on sale for $47 US right now. So just a little public service announcement if you're seeing this video close to when it was released. But um, I wanted to talk to you about mobile. Um, I like using Outrage Mobile a lot, but because I'm so often around desktops, I don't usually have a reason to use mobile, but I thought it was worthwhile to jump in, especially to preview some of these cool changes that are coming for the software soon. So let's get to it. Hey guys, uh, sorry about the audio quality on that first clip, but what we're gonna paint today is my son. So Outrage Mobile, why use mobile when you have a desktop app and you can do all the cool stuff with like, you know, the power of your computer? Well, I'm sitting next to my son while he's watching a cartoon and he's eating snacks. And it's the afternoon and there's like really nice light coming through the windows and we're just hanging out together and I have my iPad and, and I'm just painting him. That's why mobile, right? Like I'm able to sit there and plein air paint or a la prima paint direct from my subject and I can be with the family or I can be out in, in the park or I can be by the river and I can have an iPad. It doesn't have to be that I'm using oils or acrylic or something to, to plein air paint. I can actually plein air paint in digital as well. And this is where the iPad is specifically a fantastic tool. And I know that there is um, the Samsung that's what's it called, uh, the Samsung Slate or the Samsung Tablet. I don't remember what it's called, but it, there's like a, an Android-based uh, uh, Samsung tablet that has the S Pen and stuff, which is it's great. I haven't used it, but I, I do have an iPad, but it's awesome that there's, you know, different platforms that you can use. But the key thing is, is like, well, you know, what do I have to give up if I'm drawing on, on the couch, you know? And, and I think with the new update, it's called ArtRage uh, Vitae or Vite, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but um, it's basically like ArtRage Pro for mobile. Basically, it's like the full featured, closer to desktop than the ArtRage Classic. Um, well, the Classic still exists on the App Store or, or the Google Play Store. Um, it, it's now cheaper, and the new version, this like full featured version, which has, um, it's got more parity with the desktop version for sure. That one is, is now like the old price. So awesome deal for us. We get more features for the same price um, and the classic version is just as good as it, as it always was. Um, what you get in the box that I think is important is that you get bigger brushes. So our neighbor and friend, uh, Teddy Parker, is, is a, great, um, a great painter of like, especially a very fast, bold brushwork kind of subject matter. And her brushstrokes really, really matter to her style and to what she's trying to f get as, as far as like the feeling in her work. And um, mobile is hard for her, even though that's what she uses a lot of the time, is because they you can't get the brush big enough to get those big, bold brushstrokes that she loves. Well, now you can set the brush size, which used to be limited to 100%, all the way up to the desktop equivalent, 500%. Um, that alone is worth the price of entry for a lot of people, especially because the mobile app is so cheap. The other thing that makes a big difference is that you can have the canvas size can be really large. I think I was um, I was over 4,000 by 4,000 pixels on mobile and doing just fine. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, performance was good. Um, I had no technical glitches, nothing crashed. Um, the big brush strokes mattered a lot, but guys, this is also super cool. One of the things that matters to me almost more than like the big brush strokes, like for Teddy, is that is that I like to be able to customize my brush a lot. Like I really love playing with how much, um, how like the stiffness and the aspect and all the different sliders that are in the desktop version. I really miss that when I go to mobile, but now it's all there. The oil brush is just as full featured as as it is on my desktop on the iPad. So between the big 500% brushes, the awesome sliders that give me all the brush 
um, creation potential that I love to have on desktop, and then the bigger canvas size with good performance. That's really for me why the update is so good. But there's also another thing that really helps, and that's the um, what is it called? Uh, it's called real color blending. And so if you like, if you click down in the the color wheel, you can have it be just kind of like the default, right? Or you can switch it to real color blending, which gives a much more lifelike and realistic color blending performance. Again, this is a feature that's been on the desktop version, but not on the mobile version. So for me, like as an oil painting focused artist on ArtRage, that's why I think you should use ArtRage is for the oil paints. They're so good. Well, now you have every reason, like every part of oil painting is better. The color mixing is better. The brushes are better. The brush sizes are a lot better and the canvas size is better. So there's there's everything you need. Um, now you have basically the desktop oil painting experience on your iPad. So you can sit there like I am and you're just painting my son while he's, like I said, just munching on some snacks. And that's invaluable to me. Um, my next thing, and I hope to get this video out soon, is um, is to go out and plein air paint with the iPad. And I've actually done this one time already, but it was so cold. We had a cold front come in and I was just not dressed for it that my hands were frozen. So I um, I, I kind of wussed out and didn't finish the painting. So, um, but it was a good experience. I got it halfway done and I was like, wow, that's cool. I recorded it just cause, but um, I'm really excited to play now with the mobile iPad as like, as a paint box and just kind of like as, yeah, just like as a, as a plein air kit. I just want to see, you know, I want to see how far I can push it because it's one thing to be sitting next to the family member in the living room and painting. And that's so fun or to put, put a still life on the kitchen table. Um, but how does this, go, how is this going to work if I get out, you know, by the river or something and just start painting? Can I do that? How well will, will it work? What's my setup going to be? Well, that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm really excited to share with you because we have some warm weather coming in finally and I can get out and not not be a wuss about it and just get out there and paint. So um, that'll probably happen this weekend. Um, and then uh, let me talk for a second though about just this painting. Um, as you can see, um, I'm picking color out of my brain. Uh, you know, there's no like reference picture or anything here. I'm just looking at my son while I'm painting and I should have put a camera over my shoulder to sort of show you what I was looking at, but, um, I wanted to not be too invasive on his, his little moment there. So, um, I had a lot of fun just, just looking at him and finding the colors and, um, keeping the blocking really simple, making sure I was getting the value and the saturation, right? Especially in areas like his ears, his cheek, his chin to get some of those color changes. I, I liked leaving them a bit splotchy, um, sort of like a Paul Cezanne, you know, it's like just sort of scratched in there in these geometric shapes. And then, you know, they're all just kind of sitting there, all not blended together. And I really liked how that read. Um, I liked leaving this sort of like um, with the, all the evidence of the, the craftsmanship sort of left raw, you know, his little pink toes and pink knees from his, his, you know, playing outside and stuff. So I just I had so much fun finding the color. And there you can see that lavender, that light lavender peach color blending into that um, navy blue uh, or, 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 you know, whatever blue that is, um, how it, how it looks like that, that purple that comes out of that is really like a, that's part of that natural color blending that just, even in a dry brush brush joke, you get that color pop. And I found that to be really satisfying to work with and, um, and just a lot of fun. So with this painting, I hope you guys are enjoying, uh, seeing me work pretty much live, um, from a, a live subject. And I hope you're interested as, as interested as I am in, in the art rage mobile updates. If you'd like click the link in the description, you can buy our rage from there on the discount for the desktop version, the mobile version. I think you can buy from their, their website as well. So, um, check it out, click on the link. Uh, I've also got a link to my tablet and some other stuff there. So uh, check it out. Let me know if some of the links aren't working. I've had some trouble with that where they're just kind of taking you to nowhere. So um, thank you again for all the support. Super pumped about this new update to Rage Mobile. It's a game changer for me because it, it, it advances all the tools that I always use. So here's my painting of my boy. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Um, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. Thanks so much, guys, and take care.
私が私でいるため。